In this video, we're going to look at adding um, triangles and rectangles to make a better diagram. We're going to use the triangle tool first. Um, doesn't really matter where you start it because you're going to adjust it by right clicking to edit the three points. And as always in this, you can be as much of a perfectionist as you'd like. Sometimes it helps to zoom in so you can see exactly where it is. Once we've done that, we need to go uh, format the triangle to make it look a little better. Um, I like to make it either transparent so you can see some things behind it. I always remove the line, the border, and sometimes it's useful to make it a pattern instead. You want to make sure that the other elements of your diagram are obvious, so I'm going to go adjust uh, my demand curve and the uh, dashed line pointing at P1 and equilibrium just to make sure that they're good and visible. Now I'm going to show you two ways that we might add a label to the diagram. Both cases, we're going to use a text box and make, text box and make it transparent like I showed in the last video. Um, and again, getting rid of the borderline tends to make it look a little bit better. Just adjusting the font so it's going to fit into the diagram nicely. So one way to do it is to put it on top of the shaded region. You often see that in books, and in many cases, that's the, the good way to do it. Another way to do it is to put it outside and then just connect it to the shaded re uh, region with an arrow. Next, we're going to use a rectangle to show total revenue. Same process as before. We're going to make the rectangle, right-click, and edit points to micro-adjust and make things look just perfect. Change the fill so that you can see everything that you want to see, and then we'll end up or finish off by adding a label. Of course, the last step is to screenshot it so that it's locked in place and it's not going to move around um, when you put it into your work. Hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.